Hi friends, sheer strength is the force required to tear a previously notched fabric. In double sheer strength, tongue-shaped samples are tested. In this test, we use the universal testing machine, a ruler, scissors and holder jaws. First of all, test samples are conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. The conditioned samples are spread on a flat surface and thus the specimen preparation begins. When preparing samples, the fabric specimen is not taken from places too close to the edges. Specimens must be taken from no nearer the selvage than 150 mm. In addition, specimens must not be taken from wrinkled places and places where there are folding traces. The sample size is 220 mm by 150 mm. Samples of which the long selvage is parallel to the warp are tested according to the weft length and those whose long selvage is parallel to the weft are tested according to the warp length. Rectangular samples on which we prepared points 20 mm and 70 mm from the long selvage are marked and lines are drawn parallel to the short side. Fifty millimeters are marked on the spots we have drawn, and these lines are divided into three equal parts. Then, 100 mm lines are drawn just below the sections we have marked as 20 mm to the selvage, and a tongue-like shape is formed. 25 mm are marked from the lower part of the sample, which was not marked earlier, and the last point of the shearing action, that is, the end line of shearing is drawn. Then, using scissors, the sample is cut properly. When drawing the samples, the specimen must be chosen in a way that it does not include the same weft and warp yarn. As you see, a tongue-like shape is formed and the prepared test sample is tested with the universal testing device. Firstly, the device is made ready for testing. To do this, appropriate jaws are placed in the device. Then, the distance between the two jaws, namely the length of the indicator, is set to 100 mm. It is checked whether or not the distance between the two jaws is 100 mm with a ruler. Then, the upper jaw speed is adjusted to 100 mm per second and the sample is placed in the device. The sample is placed in the device in a symmetrical manner. When preparing the sample, the section we marked at 70 mm is placed into the upper jaw. The other part is placed in the lower jaw. Then the strength and elongation values on the computer screen are reset to zero and the OK button at the top is pushed to start the test. Peaks appear on a computer screen and the upper jaw moves at a fixed speed. It must be made sure that jaws are not dislocated during the test and shearing must be done in a linear manner. Test results are not taken into account if this does not happen. That is, if the shearing is not linear and if the jaws drift away.
The shearing process goes on until the place we marked earlier as 25 millimeters. Reaching the marked section, the test is stopped and the result is recorded. Likewise, taking five pieces of weft and five pieces of warp, the test sample is examined. The average of these five values is given as the result of the test.